hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about capacitors the basic concept of capacitor is a parallel plate capacitor in which we will draw two solid or two metal plates and we will place and these two metal plates in front of each other having some gap or this gap is known as a distance between these two parallel plate capacitors so uh, first of all we cannot say these are capacitor but these are two parallel plates connected or placed in front of each other if one plate is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and other plate is connected to the negative terminal of the battery along with the uh, switch so the uh, when the switch is closed in the first step now the switch uh, the switch is open so when the switch is closed the current or voltage start flowing through this circuit so the positive terminal of the battery is connected to that plate and it place positive charge to that plate so this plate will become a positive charge and the other side of the battery which is known as or other terminal of the battery is a negative terminal so this will become a negative plate so the purpose of the capacitor is this to, is to store uh, energy or store charge so in order to understand this storage the we know or we need to know about the capacitance of the capacitor so this is a, pa a parallel plate capacitor having some distance or displacement between these two or separation between these two plates and this is known as gap sometime when there is no medium between them this is known as vacuum or air so uh, the medium between these two parallel plate capacitor is air if nothing is present between it or if some medium like paper wood or something is present like plastic is present between them then that plastic or that material is a medium between these two plates so the capaci the capacitance can increase or decrease by placing the medium between these two parallel plates so if we increase the voltage or apply the voltage so the vo this voltage will increase the number of charges present on that plate so q is directly proportional to the voltage and if we uh, remove the proportionality constant so uh, proportionality sign so it will be capacitance c so e q is equal to cv with the formula so if we find out the value of c c is equal to q over v which is a constant value the capacitance is a constant value if we increase the voltage or strength of the battery uh, then the number of charges may increase but there will be no change or there will be no change in the capacitance of the capacitor so capacitance of the capacitor will remain same by increasing or decreasing the voltage if we increase the voltage the charges number of charges will increase or if we decrease the voltage number of charges will decrease the strength of the capacitance or the value of capacitance will remain same for this case so in order to further understand the formula of the capacitance what will be the formula of capacitance so from this formula uh, the capac uh, the charge has a unit of coulomb and potential has a unit of volt so it will be coulomb per volt this is a formula of, of capacitance the si unit for this capacitance is farad coulomb per volt is known as farad so this farad is can also be defined as when one coulomb of charge present on the parallel plate capacitor having a potential of 1 volt so the the capacitance having a 1 farad so 1 coulomb per 1 volt is equal to 1 farad this is a, as a unit of capacitance in order to uh, further understand the value of capacitance of parallel plate capacitor when there is no medium between it so 1 farad is equal to uh, one column charge present on these two parallel plate capacitors per volt or the having a potential difference of one volt so this, this capacitance is a is for parallel plate capacitor and the potential will be one volt so it will be the value of one farad this one farad is a si unit of capacitance so this is a final expression for the capacitor and capacitance in this video we discussed about two metal plates placed but in front of each other when these are connected with the battery the positive terminal of the battery will connect it to the one uh, plate and the negative terminal of the battery will be connected to the negative plate so in this case we can understand that the terminal 
of the battery can split the charges or can transfer the charge to this one, these two parallel plates so one is known as positive plate and other is known as negative plate so between these two plates if we place any medium the capacitance may change so this capacitance may increase or decrease depending upon the material or medium between them so this capacitance is a, a, a medium dependent value so it is it has some relation of relative permittivity so in the next chapter or next lecture we will discuss about the medium or capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with respect to medium and without the medium so up till now i have finished about the uh, detailed definition or introduction of capacitors parallel plate capacitors and the vacuum between these two parallel plate capacitors or if you have any question you can contact me at my email address or this number uh, if you have any question you can also write in the comment box we will see you in the next video bye bye